Hello you geniuses. Welcome to a presentation about math for UV Summer 2021. <laughs> Stuff like this is usually really boring, so I put together this sick beat to make it more entertaining. Ha <laughs> ha how about that? Catch me outside. Just kidding. I'm a lover. Not a fighter, anyway. I'm Sparrow and I'll be spending more time with you this summer. You'll learn how to make me roll, bounce, laugh, cry, and say things like, You're sus dog. He's got the Rona. And this is Let. Speaking of Let, we've got my boy Schlegel in the house. He ain't no simp. He's an educated fool with money on his mind. Come get you some. All right, thanks for the introduction, Spiro. I am Mr. Schlegel. I'll be the science and math teacher for your summer upward bound experience uh, for 2021 and for many years to come, I hope. So with that, uh, today's purpose is to give you guys some, in to introduce you to Spiro first off, and then to give you uh, some insight into the options that you have available as a summer math student at Upward Bound. So I'm gonna take myself off the screen right now and go over to my little presentation, give you the information and uh, get you the survey so that you can let me know what the right option is for you for this summer. Okay, with that, I need to get my cursor back over here and there we go. So summer 2021 math options, it's the Schlegel experience. So what we've got first is just a quick uh, overview of the three options that are available. So you may choose from one of the following. Option number one is what I call math for college readiness. And the course itself is actually called SAT prep. And it is math that is focused on college readiness. And so the math in this course would be math that is essential for you to be uh, having mastery of uh, to begin college and get into a college level math class. Next on our list is Red Comet, which is a, a program that is available outside of Upper Bound that is math credit bearing. And so we'll talk more about what that means in just a moment. And then the last option is the option called the MIT Open Courseware. Now, these courses are courses that have been put together by MIT or the Massachusetts Institution of Technology. It's a very famous university. And it is for advanced, it is our most advanced option. Uh, they are not, you would not get credit from MIT for taking these courses, but it is uh, for students who need a more advanced option than these others would provide. Let's get right to it, folks. Here's the details of each one of them. So math for college readiness, again, also uh, could be considered SAT prep, is a course focused on the math necessary for success when entering college. You can start working on this stuff after completing the eighth grade, and it is beneficial to all students who plan to attend college. So based, and it's based in Khan Academy, it has no time limit, i.e. it never expires. And so if you if, if you sign up for this this summer and you're entering ninth grade, you could use that same account and keep practicing it all the way through your senior year and beyond. It links itself to your SAT results. So if you take the SAT test later on, uh, it's actually going to communicate the results of that test to this practice program and it would help it build a customized practice program for you to score better on the test and be more prepared for college. And it is offered for both English and math. And uh, the one of the interesting things about this, even though it is a math class, your high schools would give you elective credit for doing it. So this is not something that would earn you math credits. And just a little tip here on the side, folks. Many people think that classes like Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus are the most important for success in college, they are totally wrong. Algebra one is actually the most important for college readiness, although higher level math is also valuable. All right, so that's it for SAT prep folks. 
Uh, again, something that would be practicing math that is essential for you entering college. Next up, we've got Red Comet. Red Comet is a program that has a lot of different course offerings. Those are listed there on the left. So you've got some Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, Pre-Calculus, and Pre-Calculus honors going on there. This one does have a time limit. If you select this one, you have to complete the course within 120 days of starting it. You can work as fast as you like to get through the course, but it will probably take you about 75 hours of work to complete the course. And then last and probably most important for this option, this is the only option that offers high school math credit. So once you complete the course, and that means complete everything, you will be awarded 0.5 math credits. Uh, so let's say you do everything for this course except one thing. You will not get partial credits at all. You will get zero credits. So this is an all or nothing thing that you either complete the course entirely with everything or when that 120 days comes to an end, you even have one thing missing, you will not get any credit. So if you're a person that really wants high school math credits, this is a good option for you. And lastly, we got the MIT Open Courseware, which I mentioned at the beginning. This is uh, our most advanced offering and is for students that have completed pre-calculus. So if you have not completed pre-calculus, one of the other two options is the better option for you. But if you're a person that has, uh, I can set you up with the MIT Open Courseware. <clears throat> and what has happened there is they have recorded all of their lectures. And so those videos are available. And so are all of the course materials. And so the way that you would go through this is you would watch videos uh, and basically do the work as if you were taking the college class at MIT. But it is important for me to mention here that you do not get any college credits from MIT for doing that. You also do not get any high school math credits. You would get high school, EL, high school elective credits. So with this, there is no time limit. You could uh, sign up for a course and do as much or as little as you wanted and work on it for as long as you wanted to. And as I mentioned, all of the learning on this one is done through asynchronous videos. So that's the details for each one of the three options, folks. Let's talk through the highlights one more time. Math for College Readiness, AKA SAT Prep, is for students who have not completed pre-calculus, those who are planning to take the SAT, and those whose goal is to prepare, be prepared for college level math. There's no time limit and you get elective credit. Red Comet is for any student up to pre-calculus you must complete 75 hours of work over a four month period, that's 120 days, and it will award you with 0.5 high school math credits. And then lastly, folks, again, the MIT Open Courseware is for students who need a more advanced offering beyond pre-calculus. It has no time limit and you would gain elective credits. So with that, I'll leave this here for a moment so you can pause it and maybe ponder which one of these is best for you. Then I'm gonna ask you folks to please take a quick minute, a few quick minutes to fill out the Google form and in doing so indicate your selection for math and answer the other questions that I've thrown in there for you. I look forward to seeing you this summer and the tip there on the right is that if you have any questions or need any help making your decision about what class is right for you uh, or what option is right for you in terms of SAT prep, Red Comet, or MIT Open Courseware, please feel free to call, text, or email Schlegel. And that's me. My info is on the next slide. So I like to call this the Upward Bound Math Hotline, folks. It doesn't matter when uh, in the next however many years, even into college, you need help with something, I will be here to help. Please feel free to call or text my cell right there anytime. Text usually works best for me. And if you do send a text, please put your name in there so I know who I'm talking to. And then there is my personal email address there at the bottom as well. Feel free to contact me using any of those methods. All right, folks, here is the link to the Google form. I'll make sure that the upper bound people 
uh, Vanessa and Al and Lily and Katy have access to this so that they can get uh, the link to you through an email or whatever. With that, please take time to fill out that form and get the information to me so that I can make sure I get you into the right option for this summer. And with that, I think that's the end of my presentation, folks. Everybody, I hope you have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you this summer.